Horrid Henry and the Mummy's Curse by Francesca Simon Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Horrid Henry crept down the hall. The coast was clear. Mum and Dad were in the garden and Peter was playing at Tidy Ted's. Tee hee, thought Henry, then darted into Perfect Peter's room and shut the door. There it was, sitting unopened on Peter's shelf, the grossest, yuckiest, most stomach-curdling kit Henry had ever seen. A brand new, deluxe, Curse of the Mummy kit, complete with a plastic body to mummify, mummy wrapping gauze, curse book, amulets and, best of all, removable mummy organs to put in a canopic jar. Peter had won it at the Meet a Real Mummy exhibition at the museum, but he'd never even played with it once. Of course, Henry wasn't allowed into Peter's bedroom without permission. He was also not allowed to play with Peter's toys. This was so unfair, Henry could hardly believe it. True, he couldn't let Peter touch his Boom Boom Basher, his Goo Shooter or his Dungeon Drink Kit. In fact, since Henry refused to share any of his toys with Peter, Mum had forbidden Henry to play with any of Peter's toys, or else. Henry didn't care. Perfect Peter had boring baby toys. That is, until he brought home the mummy kit. Henry had ached to play with it, and now was his chance. Horrid Henry tore off the wrapping and opened the box. Wow, so gross! Henry felt a delicious shiver. He loved mummies. What could be more thrilling than looking at an ancient, wrapped up, dead body? Even a pretend one was wonderful. And now he had hours of fun ahead of him. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Oh, help! Someone was coming up the stairs. Horrid Henry shoved the mummy kit behind him as Peter's bedroom door swung open and Perfect Peter strolled in. Out of my way, worm! shouted Henry. Perfect Peter slunk off. Then he stopped. Wait a minute, he said. You're in my room. You can't order me out of my own room. Uh, oh, yeah, blustered Henry. Yeah, said Peter. You're supposed to be at Ted's, said Henry, trying to distract him. He got sick, said Peter. He stepped closer. And you're playing with my kit. You're not allowed to play with any of my things. Mum said so. I'm going to tell her right now. Uh-oh. If Peter told on him, Henry would be in big trouble. Very big trouble. Henry had to save himself fast. He had two choices. He could leap on Peter and throttle him. Or he could use weasel words. I wasn't playing with it, said Henry smoothly. I was trying to protect you. No, you weren't, said Peter. I'm telling. I was too, said Henry. I was trying to protect you from the mummy's curse. Perfect Peter headed for the door. Then he stopped. What curse, said Peter. The curse that turns people into mummies, said Henry desperately. There's no such thing, said Peter. Want to bet, said Henry. Everyone knows about the mummy's curse. They take on the shape of something familiar, but really, they're mummies. They could be your cat. Fluffy, said Peter. Fluffy, a mummy? Henry looked at Fluffy, snoring peacefully on a cushion. Even Fluffy, said Henry. Or Dad, or me, or you. I'm not a mummy, said Peter. Or even, Henry paused melodramatically and then whispered, Mum. Mum? A mummy? gasped Peter. Yep, said Henry. But don't worry, you help me draw some eyes of Horus, they'll protect us against her. She's not a mummy, said Peter. That's what she wants us to think, whispered Henry. It's all here in the mummy curse book. He waved the book in front of Peter. Don't you think the mummy on the cover resembles you-know-who? No, said Peter. Watch, said Horrid Henry. He grabbed a pencil. <gasps> Don't draw on a book, squeaked Peter. Henry ignored him and drew glasses on the mummy. How about now, he asked. Peter stared. 
Was it his imagination, or did the mummy look a little familiar? I don't believe you, said Peter. I'm going straight down to ask Mum. But that's the worst thing you could do, shouted Henry. I don't care, said Peter. Down he went. Henry was sunk. Mum would probably cancel his birthday party when Peter blabbed, and he'd never even had a chance to play with a mummy kit. It was so unfair. Mum was reading on the sofa. Mum, said Peter, Henry says you're a mummy. Mum looked puzzled. Of course I'm a mummy, she said. <gasps> what? said Peter. I'm your mummy, said Mum with a smile. Peter took a step back. I don't want you to be a mummy, said Peter. But I am one, said Mum. Now, come and give me a hug. No, said Peter. Let me wrap my arms around you, said Mum. No wrapping, squealed Peter. I want my mummy. But I'm your mummy, said Mum. I know, squeaked Peter. Keep away, you, you mummy. Perfect Peter staggered up the stairs to Henry. It's true, he gasped. She said she was a mummy. She did, said Henry. Yes, said Peter. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Peter, said Henry. We can free her from the curse. How, breathed Peter. Horrid Henry pretended to consult the curse book. First, we must sacrifice to the Egyptian gods Osiris and Horoth, said Henry. Sacrifice, said Peter. They're like cat guts and stuff like that, said Henry. No, squealed Peter, not fluffy. However, said Henry, leafing through the curse book, marbles are also acceptable as an offering. Perfect Peter ran to his toy box and scooped up a handful of marbles. Now, get me some toilet paper added Henry. Toilet paper, said Peter. Do not question the priest of Anubis, shrieked Henry. Perfect Peter got the toilet paper. We must wrap Fluffy in the sacred bandages, said Henry. He will be our messenger between this world and the next. Meow, said Fluffy, as he was wrapped from head to tail in toilet paper. Now you, said Henry. Me, squeaked Peter. Yes, said Henry. Do you want to free Mum from the mummy's curse? Peter nodded. Then you must stand still and be quiet for 30 minutes, said Henry. That should give him plenty of time to play with the mummy kit. He started wrapping Peter. Round and round and round and round went the toilet paper until Peter was tightly wrapped from head to toe. Henry stepped back to admire his work. Goodness, he was a brilliant mummy maker. Maybe that's what he should be when he grew up. Henry the Mummy Maker. Henry, world's finest mummy maker. Henry, mummy maker to the stars. Yes, it certainly had a ring to it. You're a fine looking mummy, Peter, said Henry. I'm sure you'll be made very welcome in the next world. Hmm? said Peter. Silence, ordered Henry. Don't move. Now I must utter the sacred spell. By the powers of Horus, Morus, Borus and Stegosaurus, intoned Henry, making up all the Egyptian sounding names he could. Stegosaurus, mumbled Peter. Whatever, snapped Henry. I call on the scarab. I call on Isis. Free Fluffy from the mummy's curse. Free Peter from the mummy's curse. Free Mum from the mummy's curse. Free... What on earth is going on in here? shrieked Mum, bursting through the door. You horrid boy! What have you done to Peter? And what have you done to poor Fluffy? Meow! yowled Fluffy. Mummy! squealed Perfect Peter. Ugh, gross! thought Horrid Henry, opening up the plastic mummy body and placing the organs in the canopic jar. The bad news was that Henry had been banned from watching TV for a week. The good news was that Perfect Peter had said he never wanted to see that horrible mummy kit again.